Greetings everyone, it's Denise again with another charcoal drawing and this time I'm drawing a, a, from a photo of a boy I got from one of those um, free photo sites. I believe it was um, from the morgue files. <laughs> And um, this little boy is dressed like an aviator. I thought he was darling. And so I chose this photo to draw from. He's got a little um, pretend aviator's helmet on and he looks like he's ready to take a flight. Has some charm to it. So first I use the vine charcoal. I'm blocking in his features and, and I'm ready to begin with shadowing and uh, important details like that. I love drawing these children. They are so special. Um, there's, there's an innocence to their face and a bigness about their eyes and their features. And um, they're just, uh, they're a joy to draw from. This one had some extra little uh, details that were fun too. You know, Aviator's outfit, he's got on a muff and he's got uh, white fur on the inside of his uh, little helmet and uh, shiny spots on where the uh, pretend goggles are. Those are not real goggles. They, they look like they were made out of plastic. Here I'm making some corrections. I could see um, I didn't make the uh, head big enough. The goggles need to be a little bit bigger there. There we go, that's better. Working on the angle of his eye, it's really difficult to make the eyes match, especially when there's an angle to the face and they, um, the, the eye towards the back side is going to be slightly smaller than the eye towards the front. All things you have to remember when you're doing these drawings. So here I'm casting some shadows on the face. It looks terrible when you first block it in, but then um, you, you smudge it down with a tissue or your finger or whatever, and suddenly it just all blends together and looks like it belongs. Here we go. He has kind of a white, uh, a dark colored shiny jacket and that's going to be problematic in making the shadows look right. So here I've pulled out my 2B pencil and I'm starting in on the deeper shadows, the features of the eyes, the hair, and uh, putting in some shadows on his dark brown muff. And his uh, corduroy looking helmet. <laughs> it's 
So you've heard about unsharpened pencils, right? They're uh, pointless. <laughs> art jokes. I love art jokes. <clears throat> So what do you get when you throw a yellow shoe into the Red Sea? You get a wet shoe. The Red Sea is a real place. <laughs> oh no, that's bad. <clears throat> Choosing just the right photo um, to use as a reference is really important, especially because um, you're, you're blocking in shadows that in a color photo don't seem to make a big difference, but in a black and white where you're using charcoal and, and you have to translate those colors into uh, lights and shadows, you've got to have a, an image that has a good light source and decent shadows on one side, light on the other side, or, uh, or you're going to end up with a flat picture. I, I hate working from photos that people give me that where a flash was used. A flash destroys the shadows. It blows them out. You don't have a decent light source because it's, well, right in front of the person's face and there there are no distinguishing shadows that make the make the face turn it looks flat afterwards you can't you can't do a decent drawing from a flash photo it just never works nicely i often end up when i'm doing a portrait um, i grab my camera i mean i'm not a professional photographer but I know what I'm looking for in doing a portrait so I'll go take the photos myself rather than rely on um, you know non-artists to to give me photos they think look good and try and work from them nothing more discouraging than working on a portrait for weeks and giving them exactly what the photo looked like and they tell you well, that doesn't look anything like my daughter son mother grandmother whatever looks exactly like the photo I did that once for my aunt I, I drew a picture of her daughter she hands me this photo that was professionally done naturally a professional photo is done with lots of light sources three usually that blow out all of the shadows and 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 give you a lovely color image it's terrible to draw from it, it it's the worst you you can't make it work and um, all I tried I shouldn't have. I should have told her right then and there, uh, this photo will not work for a decent portrait. But no, I didn't. I took the photo. I did a really nice watercolor portrait. Incorporated a lovely flower, floral type background. and. Uh, I put a lot into it and I gave it to her and she was very unhappy. This doesn't look anything like my granddaughter. Yeah. I handed her back the photo that she had given me to work from and she goes, oh, because it looked exactly like the photo. Maybe not like her granddaughter or how she imagines her granddaughter looks, but it looked exactly like the photo. And that's the problem with not taking your own decent reference images.
So I'm pulling up all of the the deep uh, charcoal with my um, with my kneaded gum eraser, kind of making it look mottled where that um, woolly fur is on the inside of his hat because I cannot have charcoal where I'm going to put the white next and uh, making some more deep shadows on the dark parts of his um, coat. Almost there. The next thing will be to, um, to add the white. As you can see, I switch hands and start working ambidextrous when my, uh, when my right hand starts cramping really badly because of the carpal tunnel. I don't want to quit, so I'll switch hands and work a little while with the left. But of course, I don't have the same dexterity. I don't have the same um, mobility to make that work real well. So here I'm just about ready. Smudge it real good and put some white where the where the bright highlights are. Really liking the way his face is turning out. Well, sometimes it feels like you're never done. You always see little details and things that you can improve on a portrait. But eventually I'm going to have to say, okay. That's it. And finally, the white, the last little step. Just on the highlights. Don't want to overdo it, because you can easily do too much white. in the back. So finally, here he is, all finished. What do you think? So kind of you to stay with me this far. I appreciate you watching. Um, give me a comment and um, come again. Thank you. Bye.